I really want to know uh, what do you think we should learn in our university to become the best of ourselves? Say again? <laughs> no, I, I heard you, uh, but I want to make sure I'm understanding. Yeah. Uh, what do you think we should learn in our university to become the best of ourselves? Well, what you should learn probably more so than anything else, I think learning the knowledge that is within your books is very important. Uh, somebody. But one of the things that's even more so important is building relationships. I'll give you two things instead of one. One is building relationships. Because when you build relationships, that means that you get to know people. And particularly people that you may not normally know. You have to look for opportunities to build relationships. Because I will give you a fact, and that is that the world is a small place, and it is getting smaller. The people that you are working with right now in this very room, some of you all will see each other again. I learned that when I was growing, um, when I was developing in school. Some of the very people that I went to school with, I'm starting, I'm beginning to encounter them again. Or if I'm not in, um, seeing them again, I'm seeing someone that knows them. You know, like social networking, Ren Ren? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. Do you all don't know? Do you are familiar with Ren Ren? Is it? Social network? Like Facebook? Okay. Is it called something else? Okay. So if it is like Facebook, the concept is, is that you put your face or you post your picture and you put your information there and you get a chance to add friends. Is it something like that? Yes. So, and what you find many times is that you can get new friends by someone else's friends. Right? Show you uh, an example of that. Um, so I may need one day to um, go to China. I want to come back to Baoding. And uh, I don't know anyone. Um, I've lost most of my connections. I have one friend, yes? And with my one friend, I have, well, let's say we're not necessarily that close. But I came to the school before. And when I came, we made friends. And she saw me and we have talked. Now, if I've made a good impression upon her, and when I go home, and if she's the only person that I know, are you still with me? Yes. She's the only person that I know. But, and I really want to come back to Baoding, but I don't know anyone that has the power to make that happen. Now, she is a university president or vice president or a dean. <laughs> it can happen. But anyway. So... The point is, is that I, she and I have never met. But if I talk to my associate and our friend, and I say, well, I would like to come back, she can put in a word here, right, and introduce us, and so we get introduced, and then I allow, get allowed to uh, the opportunity to come back. That is called relationships, yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. So the point is, in America, the concept that we are learning more than ever is the fact that it is important to know facts, but it is equally as important to know people. 
I use an analogy that singers come a dime a dozen. Have you ever heard that? Probably not. Singers come a dime a dozen. A dime in uh, the United States is 10. Okay, 10, yes? Okay, so it's 10. A dozen in the United States is 12. Okay? So, singers come a dime a dozen. Meaning that out of every 12 people, 10 of them can sing. Do you follow me? Yeah. Yes. So, every 12 people in the world, 10 can sing. Not necessarily true. But, let's say for, for, for my example, singles come a dime a dozen. Singles come a dime a dozen. So, the example was this. My instructor, my college instructor in music, he had a very, uh, very good choir, one of the best around. Um, and when people would get in trouble, he would kick them out of the choir, make them leave. And the idea, we would be concerned about it. The students would be concerned and say, we need this person. This person sings well. He says, no, singers come a dime a dozen. Yes. So. He says, when they go out, I can find someone else easy. Do you understand the point? Yes. There are many people that can sing. If one person leaves, it's no big deal. He finds another. So now more than ever, the population of the world is increasing, 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 increasing. And you can definitely identify with that in your country, being that you have the largest population. So. There are a lot of people that probably can do some of the things that you can do. So what is going to separate you is not just the knowledge. The knowledge is the star. But what you have to do is have good relationships with people. You treat people well. You smile. You do what you can to build relationships. Because if I know two people and I only have one position to offer, I go with the one that I feel better about, yes? The one that I have a relationship with. So, part one, when you're in school, I say, in addition to your studies, I hope that you're doing that anyway, build relationships. That's one. And second, become a critical thinker. Critical thinker. Did I spell it out? Yeah. No. Okay. Critical thinker, meaning that you need to be able to uh, elevate your processing skills. Instead of just memorizing information and being able to recall information like in a book, it's important to know facts. It's more important to be able to solve problems. Yes? Companies are going to pay the better money for the people that can solve problems. <clears throat> I have a business and I need executive assistants, people that can help me. <clears throat> My job is to speak. My job is to meet people, build relationships. And I don't need to spend a majority of my time with paperwork. So I need someone, not just that can do paperwork, but that can also solve problems. So if I had a choice of the smartest person in the room and a person that is half as smart but can solve more problems, I take the person that's half as smart that can solve problems. Because at the end of the day, I want someone that can solve problems. Now, you have to pass tests to get the opportunity to go to school and to exit school, yes? yes? That is important. But it is also important to be problem solvers, being able to have an issue before you and use the knowledge that you have to solve the problem. Because remember, 
talent comes a dime a dozen. There's a lot of people that know the facts. But what separates you from someone else is your ability to solve problems. Relationships, critical thinking. Questions? Okay. Um, 